My dear sweet traveler, please. We burgomasters are called by our title. I expect you will make my home yours while you are here. In the name of Lord Strahd, whose humble servant I am, please relax. Enjoy! My other guest, yes. Well, elves, you know, are rare in Barovia. You may have noticed. And Lord Strahd has such a keen interest in the unusual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rambling. Feel free. Join my other guest in conversation, if that is, she will agree. As fellow pilgrims in Ravenloft, you may have much to discuss. Ah, I was coming to that. You see, your interest in the Great One is matched by his interest in you. As Burgomaster, I have been instructed to present you with a letter of invitation from Srad himself. It is a great honor. At the risk of being rude, I say the dignity of my office would suffer were I to answer so many questions. The honor of Strahd's enchanting offer extends to you alone. My advice is not to refuse. And if my words do not impress you, if I cannot persuade you, he will compel you to go. His carriage awaits even now. Please allow me to take you there. As promised, the Borgomaster directs you to Strahd's carriage. While it is a beautifully appointed vehicle, you cannot help but notice that there is no driver. The steeds fret impatiently. They appear intelligent, even anxious to fulfill their assigned duty. As the carriage comes about the bend in the terrain, you gain your first glimpse of Castle Ravenloft. Already gripped by apprehension, a sudden dread fills you as the carriage at last approaches the gates of the castle. open upon a scene of warmth and invitation. Yet before the richly laid table and other fine appointments of the room can be examined, the single occupant of the chamber draws all attention. It can be none other than Strad von Zorovich. Welcome to Castle Ravenloft. I trust I have not inconvenienced you. It is easy to forget how commanding a summons can seem to mere, uh, to wanderers such as you when exploring a new realm. You understand that no ordinary turn of the road led you to this land. All who enter it arrive in answer to a call, to a summons more binding than any a mere lord might give. Here we are, 
all of us, and here we shall remain. No road leads out of this mist-bound universe. The land entraps many. Its ruler is no exception. And so I have devoted my life to this problem. It is the least a lord can do for his people, is it not? My most recent study concerns certain portals, those dimensional gateways of which mages and philosophers speak. One such portal may lie in the caverns west of Barovia, near the river. Aside from myself, I believe you are the first to hear of it. But please, before you rush to the shores of the Ivlis, allow me to present you with a key. If you are to gain entrance to these caverns, you will find it necessary. I have no time to try the key myself, for adventure is a luxury I can ill afford. However, as I see you are capable, and as I trust you would never betray your host, the key shall be yours for a time. Go as my agent and search out this gateway beneath the Iblis. But enough talk. Please, I have invited you here to join in a pleasant repast. After we finish the best food and brandy wine Barovia has to offer, I will have my carriage return you to town. The encounter ends as pleasantly as it began, with a heartfelt farewell and wishes for a safe journey from Strahd von Zarovich. As the Lord of Ravenloft proving himself a gentleman, as the carriage clatters back across the bridge, there is time to reflect on this first encounter with Strahd.